Well, the Snow White trailer finally came out, and if you want to see my reaction to it, then head on over to my Patreon or my YouTube memberships and you'll see. It was quite a funny reaction I had. I actually had to pause the trailer and talk about what I was seeing. I did not expect the trailer to be as bad as it was. Now, before we talk about the trailer in this particular video, I'm just gonna say, I am not mad at Rachel Zegler. She said some really stupid things during those interviews that she did, but here's the thing. She was essentially repeating Disney talking points when she says that the, that uh, Snow White is not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be th dreaming about true love and all that kind of stuff. That is the kind of thing that Disney made the decision on and that was not her call. Re really, this was all stuff that I am certain Disney was training her to say and then it just had a huge backlash. And very much the things that she says were in line with what Disney was saying. Now, yes, she does come across as spoilt and stuff, but honestly, all the videos that talked about her, both people that she pissed off on the left and the right, which is an accomplishment, the only other person I can think of off the top of my head that did that was J.K. Rowling. But the fact that she pissed them both off, I think both sides have gotten theirs back on Rachel Zegler, so I'm willing to just ignore all of that now. There are plenty of reasons to be mad at actors in movies, but Rachel Zegler to me, I feel like her moment came and went in terms of being mad at her. Now, there are plenty of reasons to be mad at Gal Gadot, reason enough not to watch the movie, but I digress. Now, the biggest thing that we were wondering when we saw this trailer was, what did Disney do about the dwarves? Because if you remember, before Disney had these hippies or something that looked like they smoked weed who were going around and were Disney's replacements of the seven dwarves. And the reason they did that is because Peter Dinklage did an interview where he was acting like the dwarves were offensive, which they really weren't. His reason for having them be offensive is the fact that they're just dwarves working in a coal mine. But the thing is, it didn't seem like they were working for anyone in the movie, they seemed self-employed and they were just working to get those rubies out. Quite frankly, if we live in that world, I would do the exact same thing. I'd be self-employed and take rubies out of the cave. So I don't see what was offensive about it. It wasn't a zippity doo -dah moment where they were happy to be enslaved and working for someone else. It wasn't that, so I don't know what Peter Dinklage found as offensive as that. So Disney basically, they saw all the backlash that came around and they says, okay, we're gonna try to fix this. So they delayed the movie a whole year into 2025 as opposed to this year. The movie would have been out a few months ago at this point. And we were wondering, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna do CGI dwarves? Or are they actually going to hire seven little people and give them the roles? And now that we've seen the trailer, they decided to go with the Uncanny Valley CGI characters. And quite frankly, the dwarves in this trailer, they look so fake and Uncanny Valley and they just look wrong. They almost look like a sin against nature. They don't look good. Now, Peter Dinklage is clearly to blame for this as well, because instead of hiring seven little people to give them jobs, they now have just given it to the computer and have replaced them with CGI. And they just don't look right. Dopey in particular has a really weird looking smile on his face. I really don't like the look of these dwarves. They just look so off. And this is something that Peter Dinklage will never live down because this is all on him. However, he is not entirely to blame for this. The one that really should take the blame for all this is Disney, because it was their decision. They could have ignored Peter Dinklage. If they had a backbone and if they had passion for this project, they would have explained their side as to why they think it is the right decision to include the dwarves. But they didn't. They just reacted and got very scared and just says, okay, we're gonna go back on that and do something else instead. And then that got people pissed off and they says, okay, we'll go back on that as well. They're very reactionary and this proves that Disney had no passion or vision for this project. They just saw it as more content. Because if they had a passion for this project, they would have backed it up and they would have given their strong stance as to why they think it is right to make a Snow White movie in this day and age. But they clearly have no passion, they clearly have no reason other than money, content, content for content's sake. That's all they had. Whenever it comes to gender bending or whenever it comes to making decisions on characters, that people don't want, they will have a firm stance on that. 
But when it comes to making changes that people do want, they go into the project thinking, no, we can't do that. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Disney, but they really need to get a grip and go back to making movies for their audience. Because it doesn't seem like they're making movies for the audience as much as it feels like they're making their movies for social media. It's like they so want to impress the social media crowd that they're willing to really upset the crowd that made them the successful company that they are today. So the lack of seven little people playing the roles of the seven dwarves is all on Disney. And the fact that the CGI looks so bad, it really does seem like a last minute fix. Another thing I was surprised by was not just the poor CGI on the seven dwarves, but it was also the poor CGI of the sets. I don't know if this was down to reshoots, but it seems like they haven't got real sets in this movie. So much of the backgrounds all look like CGI. Even the woods look like CGI. The woods, the Seven Dwarves house, even that looks like CGI. Which is really surprising because the original Snow White movie in terms of locations was very contained. You had the Queen's Castle, you have the woods, you have the Dwarves house, and then you have the final little set pieces that we get where they venture out and attack the Queen. That is basically all the sets that you needed for this movie. So for Disney, with the unlimited resources that they have and the countless hundreds of millions of dollars they spend on movies like these, there is no excuse why all of this is not on set and on location. It looks like there's a ton of green screen being used and it just looks awful. In fact, it is so CGI overload that I feel uncomfortable looking at it. It's like when you have too much sweetness or too much saturation and it just feels like it's overkill. That's what I feel like with the CGI in this trailer. Now, of course, it could look better in the final movie, but I don't think so. That's an argument that a lot of people have made, and I feel like that used to be the case for movies back in the old days, but movies now, I feel like the CGI that we see in the trailer is ultimately the CGI we get in the movie. There'll be a slight improvement, but nothing major. So I think what we're seeing here is essentially what we're going to get in the final movie. And really, a movie like this should have been about $100 million. It should have been a very small contained movie. But we all know that Disney are going to be spending so much more over $100 million. And it's confusing why they're spending so much money, because as well as this movie being very contained, there's also not many characters in it. You have the Queen, the God, Snow White, the Seven Dwarves, and the Prince. That is not a big cast for this movie at all. So why they had to go with the CGI route with the dwarves and why they have to spend so much money and they couldn't just film in a simple forest? It really says to me that this movie was just thrown together at the last minute. I wouldn't be surprised if they did do a whole bunch of reshoots because a lot of this CGI and these green screen backgrounds and this very fake looking filter over it, it's most likely because they had to quickly shoot this again in a rush and then they were like, okay, now we got to rush and put the CGI in there. So much of this screams last minute fix, like they didn't have time to reshoot the whole thing to the full quality that they usually would, so they had to quickly reshoot it, and they thought they would just fix the rest in post with CGI. And I gotta tell you guys, this whole trailer screams fix it in post. Fix It in Post is a philosophy that the MCU has been using for the last several years, and their movies have looked so fake because of it, and now it's the same with this live-action remake. This by far is the worst-looking live-action Disney remake, and that is saying something. So for those of us that didn't have any faith in this movie, this trailer does not sway you. If anything, it makes for a more compelling case that we were right. And it really shows where Disney are. They don't have a driving passion. They don't have a driving force of creativity. And that's the same with not only Disney, as we're seeing here, but it's the same with Lucasfilm, with the recent Acolyte that we had. It's the same with Marvel. And it's also the same with Pixar. The only good example of a movie they had recently was Inside Out 2, but the rest, like with Lightyear and so on and so forth, they clearly have no driving force of creativity either. And this speaks to a big problem as to what is going on with Disney. And if you look at the Mufasa trailer, which we will talk about as well, my trailer reaction for that is also on my Patreon and YouTube memberships. It all just has the same problem. There is no passion. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And yet Disney seem to think that they can keep fixing it. And they are not smart enough to do that. There was maybe a time back in the day where they were, but they aren't smart enough to do that now. Is there any good thing about the Snow White movie that I saw in the trailer? Well, there is only one. The only good point I can give to this trailer is that Rachel Zegler actually had a good singing voice from what little we heard in the trailer. So I thought her singing voice was very good and I think she can do justice to the classic songs. But everything else, 
It is shocking that Disney, who was built on the success and the passion behind that Snow White movie, have now made something as passionless as this. The Disney of old used to care. The Disney of now couldn't care less. So comment below with your thoughts on what you thought of this teaser, and let me know, am I alone in thinking that this trailer looked like it was just full to the rim of CGI, or do you guys think this actually looks good and I am the one that's not seeing it? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, and again, if you want to see my first initial reaction to this Snow White trailer, then check out my Patreon or my YouTube memberships where you can gain access to my trailer reactions. And in doing so, you'll also see my trailer reaction to the new Mufasa movie, and I had a lot of thoughts about that trailer as well. So, thanks very much for watching, thanks for supporting the channel, thanks for being supportive on Patreon, and I'll catch all of you very soon. Take care.